I just came inside from taking my dog outside to do what she does and one of the things that I thought about today was something that we like to do with our little puppy from time to time. That is, we get on either side of the yard. We have one person on one side, one person on the other. And what we do like to do is we like to let her go just free because she really likes to run, she likes to play, she likes to get that energy out. She's mostly an inside dog, so if you notice, uh, her kind of getting antsy and stuff it's time to get the energy out so each person's on either side and we let her go and there's a little bit of a risk here because we think she could go anywhere but we don't have a fenced-in backyard we have to take her on walks and take her you know, walking around the house but we let her go and she goes from one family member to the other and she runs fast you know she just loves it and you can just tell I don't know if dogs can smile but she seems like she's having a fantastic time now there are times where she might do a couple extra laps around one of us just because she has a little bit extra energy but she always comes to us because she knows us if someone walks up at that moment and she doesn't know them she gets really scared and and she doesn't run to them so there's really no risk of that but in a, in a way we kind of feel like it's a little risky but for her she's just going to the familiar right I got to thinking about that when I'm thinking about this passage today and there's also something else that I was thinking about you remember when you were a kid and you would play tag and when you play tag, you'd be running all over the yard or all over the property or whatever. And you'd almost get tagged, but then you would touch something and say, base. The base was this, this instance in this place that you'd get to go to to get a, a little bit of a breather, a little bit of rest. You knew it was safe. No one could touch you there. You see, Proverbs chapter 18 says this, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. I believe it's Proverbs 18.10. And when we look at that, it's easy for us to make the connection in our spiritual lives. If we didn't know God, if we hadn't invited him into our lives, if we don't have a memory of all the ways that he has been faithful to us, it would be harder for us to run into his arms and feel safe. But we do have those memories, right? We have testimony, we have witnesses, and we, and we have stories of times where God has come through. Sometimes we haven't always understood what God was doing in our lives, and maybe later on there are some times where we look back and go, oh, I can recognize what he was doing because this led to this and this led to this. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Sometimes we think of God embracing us or, or you know, covering us and protecting us, and he certainly does that. But imagine a God that is so powerful that just his name we can run into. It's an amazing thing once you think, think about it. I think that that is very, very encouraging today. When we know that we have a God who loves us so much that we can run into his arms, we can declare his name. And we don't have to be seminary scholars today to understand that there is a God who created the universe, that just the utterance of his name can give us comfort and peace. Sometimes we're going through some hard stuff. Sometimes we're going through things that we can't quite explain. And sometimes we might be even a little frustrated with God because we feel like he's allowed something or we don't quite understand what's going on. But we know that God is who he says he is and he loves us and he has the best in mind for us. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. It's some wonderful encouragement today for when our life and our bones are weary and we just can't seem to go on. Think about that this week. I'll see you on Sunday.